On this episode, I talk yik yak, historical figures, and what my kids have taught me. You ask questions, and I answer them. This is the Ask Gary V Show. This is Gary Vay Nurchuk, and you're watching the Ask Gary V Show, episode number 64. Before we get into the questions today, uh, I'm excited. We did one yesterday, right? Oh no, the snow day. Um, snow, the fake snow day in New York City. That really pissed me off. Um, but got some time with the kids, which made it pretty awesome. Uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, I see that Alex D. Simone. Where is Alex? And is sitting at his desk. That's why you can leave him, Stefan. Um, Give him big daps last night. His hustle was strong. More people are segueing into asking questions on Instagram. Uh, let's link that up if you want to ask a question on the show. I'm enjoying this. The Instagram game is really fascinating to me. Uh, betting hard on it. All of you entrepreneurs should. It is the number one social network as the attention graph goes. By the way, I need to desperately make an attention graph. Like, like we got to get into like that because that's what I care about. Uh, let's get into the show. Austin asks, Gary, in episode 63, you say you watch and can tell if people are hustling. How do you tell? Engagement, frequency, or gut? Austin, this is a great question. I love the recall to that long, long, long time ago episode number 63. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is how I do it. And it's funny, I, I'm, I'm in love with this answer. And like, you know, it's funny. I, by the way, I'm giving you a, uh, a pre-alert that I think the answers on this show are gonna be really good. I feel up for today's answer and I'm gonna go even deeper. I remember why I started this show which is can I go deeper on all my quotes for my fans? I'm gonna challenge myself in this episode to go deeper both in the tactical aspects and the theoretical aspects. And what I mean by that, cloud and dirt by the way, uh, what I mean by that is how do I figure that out is very simple. It starts with the fact that I put in work. So when I go look at your Twitter account and your Instagram account, I will actually click your posts. I will actually look at all your posts. I go to everybody's, if you go to a Twitter account, you can hit their profile and then you can say view all with replies, right? So if you go on my account, twitter.com slash GaryVEE, you'll see all my non-reply tweets and you'll be like, oh, Gary's pushing out a lot of stuff. But if you click with replies, all of a sudden, you get a much deeper picture into what I'm actually doing on Twitter, which is I'm engaging at scale with my community. So. When I get pissed at all of you, one of the things I'm looking at is I'm like, oh, look at all these 15 people that I just spent the last 35 minutes looking at. When I click their Twitter account because they just engaged with me, I'm double checking so I just click very quickly, usually on my phone. Okay, cool, you say hello. I mean, let's do one right now, real time, baby. Let's do one right now, very simple. This is gonna be interesting. Somebody's about to get really called out, right? So you open a Twitter app, right? And I go to my notifications and I don't know what you're gonna get here, DRock, do your best, but I'll look and I'll be like, you know, Social media tw- twit, right? Well, you know, social media TWTR, this dude, right? He says he's been, I asked, how long have you been following me? A lot of you answered, thank you, by the way, right? So I'll click in and I'll look at him and I'll say, okay, 1,080. And then I'll look at what he's actually doing and I see he does a lot of retweeting. Okay, that's interesting to me, right? He's doing a ton of retweeting because that's his account. So that gives me a sense of what he's doing. I'm going to skip ahead because he's kind of playing that game. Now, Kristen will say, great point by Gary Vee. Thanks, Kristen. And I'll go into here, I'll see she has 7,000 followers, that'll give me some information. And then I start looking at what she's doing and then she's engaging, she's engaging, she's engaging. Here she's retweeting, she's hitting that person up. I love this, hey, saying to somebody they love the new profile picture. This is starting to give me a sense and actually, Christine, let's give her some, let's give her some daps. Can you zoom in top right corner? Are you able to do something there to give her some daps so she gets some peep yeah. love? Yeah. You know, so she's doing a good solid amount of engaging. She's doing some nice solid retweeting. She's actually really engaging. Oh sh- crap, like I don't know why I didn't want to curse there. If you look now, go over here, DRock, this is very faint, but you can see that. Bring it up. Bring it up, sure. Yeah. On the, all the way in the right where it says one hour, one hour, two hours. Can you see that yeah. on the right here? It's very small, but what I'm seeing is that she's, I mean, this is all happening in the last two hours. A lot. Heavy engagement. She's crushing the engagement there. So then the next thing I'll do, I mean, this is work. Like, like if anybody understands, like, like how do I, how do I know? Because I'm putting in the work. Next thing I do is I hit her URL on her Twitter account, which is radical.social, right? And then this pops up. And now I'm looking at this. Is this her blog? Is this where she works? I don't know yet, but here we're about to look. Okay, now I'm looking. 
And I'm like, do you know? There are tons, and I'm like, what is this? I'm trying to figure it out. And sometimes if I don't figure it out quickly, I'm like, I don't know what this is, I'm out. Looks like her blog, like, talk to me, like, you know, like, oh, this is hitting up Chris. Anyway, so these are the things I'm doing. I'm analyzing, right? I'm looking at the other things you do. If, if, if I was looking at my Instagram, I'd look at the pictures, what does that person put out? And what I'm seeing, my friends, and the reason I called out so many people is, one, I'm seeing the far majority of people only in the right hook business, right? Thanks to Christine here, I'm in a good mood because she's jabbing the shit out of it, right? So that's great. But then there's other things. Is she throwing right hooks? Is she trying to drive people like, because the right hook is part of the jab, 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 right hook, which is the overall thesis. Put out great content, create value up front, convert it into business. And so when I see people, and I see a lot of you asking the same questions about your coffee business, your, your catering business, all this, I'm trying to see if you're doing that mix. Are you only right hooking? Are you only jabbing? Are you driving people successfully? Is your, is your website responsive because it's a mobile world? These are like, I do this. I mean like, as you can see, that alone, I'm not even done with Christine like auditing, that alone is five, seven, nine minutes. That's insanity in a world where I'm so busy, but that is the reason so many of you follow me. I truly believe that. I believe in this karma, zen kind of aspect to it that I'm capable of giving great answers on this show because I know you way better than you think in a world where every one of my contemporaries that's at my level, whatever that is, thinks that the last three minutes of this show, the things that I do with my time in a world where in my inbox, I mean, Let's, let's, let's break this down, let's understand what I'm talking about. In a world where I've got all these emails right now, and like going back, and so I hope some of my clients are gonna get upset here, I think, but like here's a very important email from John, the lead developer at Wine Library about a new program that we're about to launch on winelibrary.com from Friday, not answered yet, right? Because I'm looking at Christine's Twitter account. Nobody, no business person thinks that's the right move, none. And so I think if you want to pop, if you want to be an anomaly, you've got to act like one. Andre asks, Gary, I'm interested in your thoughts about marketing opportunities on Yik Yak. Andre, so this is a great question. Um, Back to the attention graph that I just told India that we need to drill on. The biggest reason I'm talking about Yik Yak so much is it does have the overwhelming attention at scale of this kind of 18 to 22 year old demo that's on college campuses. The truth is, I'm not really prepared to answer this question. That's why I took it. The truth is, I haven't put in enough work on Yik Yak. It's here, right? It's here, but look where, look where Yik Yak is, right? I, I know, DRock, you're doing a lot of like, I'm sorry. But this is important. This is another insight. Some of the stuff I do, it's why I grab so many people's phones, right? Look where Yik Yak is. As you can see, social's really jamming here, right? But Yik Yak's in this little folder that says social, and it's not even on the first one, it's here. So clearly, are you laughing because you're not getting a good zoom? No, it's hiding. Oh, it's hiding. That's right, D-Rocket, it's hiding. <laughs> and so, so even though I'm talking a big game about my belief in Yik Yak, my actions aren't following my words right now. I'm doing a bad job of not being the best expert at Yik Yak. I haven't spent a lot of time in there. Obviously, the kind of anonymous commenting you know, how do you get away with like promoting your burger joint or a pizza shop or wine library? Ooh, you have to 21, 22 year old Yik Yak users. Like, what do you do? Like, do you ask a question about your own business? Or do you make a statement about your own business? That's a little spammy. You know, the problem with Yik Yak as a marketing platform right now is it's like the old forums back in the day when everybody was anonymous in the 90s. And I would go to like Wine Spectators, Wine Bulletin Board, and be like, Wine Library is an amazing store in town. It, you know, you don't know how to do it right, right? Like, I guess in theory, you can make a comment of like, I hear that the Johnny Burgers own uh, cook is really hot. Ha ha ha, because it's me. Like I guess there's a way if you're very authentic you can win that game. Um, and there's clearly ways to market. Unfortunately, the thing I make fun of so many of you of and so many people of, which is you're not a practitioner, you're reading headlines. I unfortunately in this situation am a lack of a practitioner and need to do a little bit of more of my work. As you can tell, I have enough dangerous knowledge of giving you an example of some of the things you can do. But the, you know, the question will become what will Yik Yak allow brands to do, if anything. Um, but clearly, let's, if you have a restaurant or hangout in the college demo right now and you're not desperately trying to figure out Yik Yak every minute, you're making a huge mistake. Coach asks, Gary, we spend all of our time pouring our creativity into projects for our clients so that when it's time to shift gears and focus on our brand, we're exhausted. How do you keep it burning for both? Coach, the simple answer here is very simply that you need to, (laughs) 
you need to work harder and faster. There's really nothing else. I mean, how do I, I'm exhausted every day, but I'm making enormous amounts of things happen in my 18 hours, right? Not only am I working 18 hours, but I'm working fast as hell in those 18 hours and I'm prioritizing what's important and what's not. And so, you know, I guess the, the answer to your question is we're all different. I mean, if you need to be A type and rigor and organized, I would just schedule non-negotiable time for your personal brand if that's important to you from 6 to 7 p.m. because you have that whole day to like kind of check the box that you want to and you just got that time. It's just allocated. Uh, maybe that time is up 10 to midnight. Um, but really, there's no magic answer here. The answer is more time and faster within that time. I think the faster part confuses a lot of people. right? I always talk about like stop watching Lost, sleep less. But there's another variable. Be much faster in the hours that you're actually in. Like, these guys can tell you there is not a second that's down. I love when people are like, oh, I work 10 hours a day and then when I audit them, there was like 15 minutes here where they watched a YouTube video. Like, I mean like just ludicrous, like every second, like we fight for minutes here. We fight for seconds here. I wish there was other cameras showing you how hard the bobbleheads are on the crew here. Every minute. And so like my gut is because I, when I thought I was the biggest workaholic that ever lived from 22 to 30 in running Wine Library but I had enough time to bullshit about baseball with Brandon for nine minutes or talk to my dad about something for 15 that made no sense and didn't matter or went to ESPN.com to just check jet score. Like I had time. I had time. I'm dramatically faster at 39 than I was at 29 and I'm working more hours. That's how it's happening. I know the answer. I lived it. I... I am making fun of 29 year old Gary B for all the spewing that I do. That dude wasn't as fast and didn't go for as long every day. And that's just how I've done it. Ben asks, Gary, what have your children taught you about life and business? First of all, that was a great video. Big ups. I think the Instagram videos have huge potential as well. The creativity is coming through more than the YouTube videos where it's just person's face. So that's a lot of fun. You know, it's funny. I took the, this question as well because I think my answer is going to be super unpopular. I think, I think a lot of people are going to be, you know, everybody's looking for the romantic answer, right? Like, you know, the truth is I love my kids insanely but I love my wife and I love my parents so insanely that, you know, I love them more but like DRock's always scared when I go politically incorrect. No, DRock, I mean, it's the truth. I, I, I promise to be very honest on this. Like, do I love my kids more than my parents? It's a really interesting debate for me. It's much closer than the normal politically correct or answer that I hear from others. So it's not like they taught me how to love. I, you know, people say that all the time. I was fucking loving everything before. Um, I guess, um, you know, I guess at the end of the day, the things that really, really, uh, <laughs> you know what, this is the true answer. The, the thing that my kids have taught me about life, and I guess I believe this very much in business, and so many of you that have been jamming with me for a long time know, they've taught me from the other side how powerful DNA really is. Watching my kids do the same exact things I do, like Misha when she performs in our living room, she's spending more time trying to pay attention if we're paying attention than on her actual performance. That's what I do. When I give talks, I'm like looking in the crowd to make sure they're not on their phone. Like, you know, Xander's looks of like, like, I got you. Like, it's just crazy. So like, they've taught me how powerful DNA is. It's, you know, and, um, and maybe they've taught me to, to uh, you know, maybe they've taught me a, a more extreme level of respect for Lizzie. Um, it's in, she's in, just an incredible mother and just watching how she's executing in her role with them is, is, uh, has taught me a lot about her. Um, but for me, you know, they haven't taught me jack crap about business um, and other than the reason I bet on people is based on my intuition around their DNA and then I watch their DNA come full throttle. I'm just a big DNA guy. Lex asks, Gary, I've got a question for you. Who is the historical figure you would have lunch with if you could, and why? Lex, great question. First and foremost, uh, two things. One, Lex, I really think you should put a URL in your Instagram account so it links out. And two, Vayner Nation, you should check out his Instagram. It is a tremendous, tremendous effort. Great pictures. Um, I mean, we're rolling with heavy truth in episode 64. Um, the answer to this question is nobody. And I really, really, really hate giving it 
Because if I'm on the other side of this camera, I'm looking at that and saying, you think you're so great that there's nobody you want to meet and weirdly there's probably a truth to that. It is actually fundamentally completely insane how little energy I have of meeting anybody all time. There's plenty of people that I find ridiculously fascinating. You know, Winston Churchill is super high and interesting. Randy the Macho Man Savage is, is a big one for me. Uh, Pete Rozelle, the former NFL commissioner, I just re- I read his book. I don't read a lot of books. I read a book when me and Lizzie went away in November. Um, I'm up to nine or whatever. Uh, you know, um, there's a million, Walt, you know, Walt Disney's interesting storytelling. Like, there's people interesting, but it's crazy. Like, if you said, you could have dinner with any historical figure, we're talking Abraham Lincoln, Walt Disney, or the Jets could be, you could be not playing in the Super Bowl. That's not where I'm going. You could be in August right now and watching the Jets' first preseason game. I'd rather do the Jets' preseason game. Think about how insane that is. Like, preseason, I said. Um, it's, there's something really broken with me, and I think it comes from ego DNA. I do. Um, or it just speaks to like a theme that I think a lot of you know, which is I'm like this, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I, you know, I'd rather look at Christine's Twitter account for 19 minutes and bring that value to the people that have bestowed in me the interest in paying attention to me than for me to go and spend you know, a nice meal uh, and drink some nice wine with you know, Joseph Stalin so I could tell him he was a piece of crap. I mean, I don't know. Like, like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't feel it. I've never felt it. I have no interest. It's just super not interesting for me. Question of the day. Which historic figure would you like to have dinner with? (laughs) You keep asking me questions, I'll keep answering.